Today I'd like to show you a couple demonstrations of Boyle's Law. Now you might recall that Boyle's Law is the one that says that uh, pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other, which means that if one of the, of the uh, variables goes up, the other one has to go down. So here in this jar, I have uh, a small uh, balloon, and if I'm going to seal this up, I have a little apparatus I'm going to use to suction some of the air out of this jar. Now, you know that if we take out air from the jar, uh, that's going to reduce the air pressure inside the jar. And so as we reduce the pressure inside the jar, what should happen to the volume of the balloon? Think about what happens using Boyle's Law. Make a prediction. Now, I have the suction apparatus, which is uh, basically a one-way valve here. And I'm going to remove some of the air from the jar, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to just remove the air, and hopefully you can see rather dramatically that the balloon's volume is increasing. And this is an excellent demonstration of Boyle's Law. Basically what's happening here is as we lower the, the pressure inside the jar, it causes the volume of that balloon to go up. I'm going to have to, uh, to release the, the pressure. And what do you think is going to happen when I equalize the pressure again? Well, hopefully, if our prediction is correct, the volume of this balloon should go back to normal, back to what it was before. So let me open this jar, and sure enough, this uh, balloon's volume goes back to what it was originally. I have another demonstration of this. This time I want to show you that the same thing except using marshmallows. And we're going to see what happens when I repeat this process. Let's see what happens when I remove the air this time. So hopefully, oh, look at that, it looks like the marshmallows are actually growing. The marshmallows volume seems to be increasing and they're getting significantly larger. It's almost to the point where, well, the marshmallows are filling the jar. I really have to work hard to open up this, this jar. So when I have a low pressure inside here, it creates a suction. And so it's very difficult to open this jar. If I release the pressure, this is pretty tough to do, as you can see, the volume of those marshmallows basically goes back to normal. In fact, it looks like the marshmallows have basically shriveled up. And so here we have a couple good demonstrations of Boyle's Law.